Right, hello. Today we're going to show you how to uh, change the piston inside your own 50cc air-cooled engine. This is a two-stroke engine. This one happens to be from like a mini moto. It's like a chainsaw style or it's air-cooled so there's no chamber for water to circulate around the engine. So it's basic and straightforward. Now on a normal 50cc engine the head might just stick out so you can just wait for the next part. For these kind of engines and the mini motos, they have a casing over the side, so it's in the way, so it needs to be removed. Now, you'd kind of be advised to take your spark plug out and keep it aside safely, but I've never had a problem keeping a spark plug in and removing the head and just leaving it. But, so, first part will be take off your pull cord and get it out of the way so that the head's nice and clear to get at. And then we'll move on to the next part. Okay, so it's a different part, so well, it's the same engine. Now, this is the cylinder head, so you've got four bolts down here that keep it on. Now, you want to get an Allen key and reach down inside these points. Now, it, it might be a bit tough, so you might want to use some pliers. Grab on the Allen key to break it. And we'll just go ahead and take it out. Now do remember though, any time you're taking engine components like this apart, they need to be resealed when put back together. So don't pop it open from the gasket, do what you need to do and then just throw it back together and think it's going to seal fine because 9 times out of 10 it causes air leaks and a lot of issues. So once you've been round the head and taken out all four of your bolts, we're going to want to crack and wobble this off. And we'll get on to the next part, which is removal of the head. Now, when this head is on, the, there's two rings that are like spring rings, and they're squeezed tight, and they're inside a tube. So when you pop off the head, the springs want to just expand out a bit. So, wait there, we'll get you closer in. You can see some stuff. So any first timers don't need to panic. Right, these are your rings. As wide as they look and they stick out, these can wear away. That's what they're designed to do. So when these wear away, you could be riding your bike and it's going fine and as it starts to heat up, bleh, your bike starts to die. That's a telltale sign of these things going. Now, these are fine, but you're going to want to take yours out, so we get a hold of the piston and we just pull. That way it just extends the coin rod, coin rod to its furthest point. Now, inside the side of your piston, you've got a little spring that curls around. You want to just Tug it so it shrinks and pull it out. Right, there we go. That's the clip out. You don't want to lose that, that needs to go back in. Now from here I usually just pop the bar in the middle through. It's not happening because I'm at the wrong side. As you can see, it's starting to come out at this side here. You can use anything, just push on it. There we go. You don't have to push it all the way through. And there it is off. Now inside your corn rod up here, you have a bearing called a uh, roller bearing. It's got loads of little pins. This one actually looks like it's in okay condition. Surprising. So if yours is okay, you can keep it there, but by far you would be better by slotting in a whole new set. But like this, this doesn't seem to be like it's going to be any problem. And it's no problem to pull them apart in a few minutes, so having to stick a new one in all the time, you don't have to do that. So then you would take your new piston which wouldn't have a wrist pin in, you wouldn't it'd come in a bag, you wouldn't know which way was which. So you look on top of the identifying mark, which is here, 
and that lets you know it's where the exhaust blows out. So we look on the engine for the bottom of the engine which is here. So we want the arrow facing the bottom of the engine. That's the way it's going to go on. Then we pop our pin back in by just wobbling it backwards and forward until it seats. We push it all the way through until it touches the other spring that we left in. Only right enough on your new piston that spring wouldn't be there so when you get your piston shove one of these springs in i'll show you how to do that in a minute so now that's in place we get our little spring and we fit it in by hand the best we can loose side first so the side that's not all curled up Oh, be better off just holding it with the pliers first. And we basically just want to squeeze and twist until that seats in a little ridge inside there. And that's it on. Now you have your new piston on. Now your rings are going to be on it. And remember what I said about these need compressed. You don't want to just randomly squeeze them. Now there is pins on the piston. You want to make sure they're rolled round and touching at different angles so the air doesn't just blow through or the combustion. Right, so we've got that. We sit it. Now we know this is the bottom of the engine our arrow on our exhaust is facing the bottom of the engine now when we pick our head back up we got to get the exhaust port at the same side now to start with you just slip it onto the head of this on the head of the piston hold on i'll bring you down Bring it down on the head of the piston, and what we're going to do is just squeeze with the fingers one ring at a time the whole way round, and then go down onto the second ring, follow it down underneath as well. Well, that's what it was, our second ring had jumped. And just lightly press down as you follow the ring around, pressing it inwards. And boom! That never went to plan. There we go. And then we would just start. Now I would advise you when you're putting your head back over the piston again, you'd really want to get some two-stroke oil, any, doesn't matter what it is, and just rub it all around the rings and the piston, up inside the barrel, just so everything's looped and gives it less chance of friction as possible. And then once it's back on, sometimes you wouldn't have these corners missing on your head. It would just be a complete square head, but there might be holes going down inside. That's how you would get to it. And you just start putting your bolts in. You get them down to nearly bottom. You'd want to do that a star pattern, pattern as well. You'd want to start one corner, go to the opposite, take another, go to the opposite just so it 
starts to get everything down equal and once it's all nearly bottomed you would just then lightly go until you feel a slight tug on each one and that would have you set up for getting ready to tighten. Most of these bolts would be tightened with a, a torque rating or advised not to go over or but slightly over tight not over tight, just slightly over, perfectly tight. <laughs> Seems to work every time for me, but it's as simple as that. That's your piston changed, rather than paying somebody else to do it or going to get another engine. It, you can get these engines for like 50 bucks, but plenty of other 50cc air-cooled engines are hundreds and hundreds of pounds, and to get somebody to work on it is a lot, a lot of money, so... To just know a couple of basic facts to undo some bolts, slide it off, remembering to use care. These are things are very sensitive to scratches, so you don't want to be scratching it. It's not so hyper technical that it needs a specialist to do it, not at all. It can be chopped and changed in minutes. In fact, I've pretty much run this video without stopping it, so there you go. There's a piston change everything you need to know to fix that problem or maybe your head's damaged inside so you've bought a new head and piston and you just want to slot it on it's as simple as that but yeah most engines are a lot more expensive than this so it's an easy fix for you without paying somebody else to do it thank you very much and if you like it or need any help please leave a like or let me know thank you very much bye so yeah, these engines are really good fun, they're easy to work on, can take minutes to fix any problem and they're great for other projects like this one here. This is a Razor E100 scooter I've been working on. We have in fact mounted an engine to the back. This was just added on yesterday, there's no lid in the tank or it's just for just now just to hide it up there but when we do get a bolt on tank it'll bolt on down under here this bracket will be flipped and it'll be bolted on so it won't be as high or as bulky as that but yeah good for any projects they can take minutes to work on they work a treat i don't know why everybody has problems with them carburetors can be total junk like you think you're buying a perfectly working car but they're not a lot of them are the tolerances on them are wrong, seals inside are perished, gaskets don't work, the thread holes, the screws don't fit properly so they rattle themselves out no matter what. There is lots of things but you find those problems and eliminate them one by one. You can end up with a perfectly running little engine. I've had these little engines screaming, you know, for not these specific engines but this type of engine, I've had lots of them in the past and we have ran them and ran them and ran them until you've totally worn the piston rings out and they still want to go. So, a good little project. Engines, they've got a decent amount of power in them. They've got various gearboxes for various projects. There's that kind of gearbox there. There's that kind of gearbox there. You can run them straight off the clutch bell, just off at the front, just straight off the engine. They can be used for lots of things, but this video will help with any 50cc air-cooled engine needing a piston change. So if you've got a bike there that somebody's telling you is old and they don't know their way around it, or, or it's just a little bike and yet they want to charge hundreds and hundreds for them to take the time to go and do it, you can do it yourself with basic tools in a tiny tiny space <laughs> yeah easy to do guys well i'll go for it just now remember hit that subscribe button if you're into projects or anything to do with little engines or anything like that i'm gonna go for it just now thank you very much bye